Hey everybody, Templin12 uh, here, just saying hi, got a new, uh, just want to do a little update here, some more thoughts on uh, on some concealed carry options. Um, today is going to be about, what I want to talk about really is about buying a gun. I know a lot of people say, what to buy, how do I buy, all that kind of stuff. Well, it brings us to mind a story, sorry, I'm just putting some pictures here just for something to look at here. Um, but <clears throat> the 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 reason I'm sort of making this video is just because I want people to be aware of, uh, especially new gun shoppers for concealed carry, to be aware of what to buy, how to buy. I, I have a friend who's recently just starting to buy and shop for a gun, and um, he's doing typically what everybody else does: looking on the internet, looking in magazines, looking at. Um, the local, you know, ads in the newspaper for oh, what's the best buy because he, he he's uh, fun limited like most of us, and does not want to spend over a certain uh, price point. So this man's relatively uh, large in stature uh, and has you know six four six five large hands and everything. And he's looking at some Ruger LC nines and some different uh, types of guns. And, uh, you know, I prefer Glocks. That's one of my favorites. And I'm not going to try to talk him into anything because uh, everybody's different. And um, here's the thing I did. I took him to the local gun shop and I and I let him try different guns. I, I showed him his favorites first, the ones that he had picked out in the magazines and the everything. So, oh, this is good. And everybody's telling him this is great for concealed carry. This is awesome for this and that. I and mean, there's a lot of great guns out there. But for him, you got to... You know, it's not going to work. You got to buy what fits, and and that's what I really, one of the things I want to talk about is because I I went to the concealed and carry classes and stuff. And there's a lot of people who went to the classes who didn't even own guns yet. They rented guns to take the class and didn't own a gun. Well, women, younger, older men, all different sizes. Well. How can you, you know, go and do what these guys are trying to do just by looking at, at a picture and not trying the gun or at least holding the gun? And again, we went there and we found out that the Ruger LC9 for a man his size is not going to fit. I mean, it, it was like a, it was like a, 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 a little toy shooting gun in his hand. It wasn't comfortable. It wasn't, you know, it didn't even, and he wasn't comfortable holding it. So, um, that's the first note I want to say is try before you buy. You got to look into the size of the gun. You got to go pick up a gun. You got to see if it's going to fit your hand and if you're going to be comfortable. And what I mean by comfortable is um is the width of the grip going to be good for you? Is the width down the length of your hand going to be appropriate. Uh, like a, this man has a very large hand, so uh, even though I carry a Glock 26 and I, I basically hold that with two fingers, I have the grip extenders on the magazines. As you can see in this magazine, this has the uh, whoops, knock that over. Uh, this has the one grip extender, and I have a little bit nicer one for another one. It's got the extended mag and the grip extender, it, and it, it gives you a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of pinky support there. But for somebody his size, it was uh, really uncomfortable. Very, very uncomfortable. And uh, he really wanted to have a better grip on the gun. So that's one of the things you got to look at. Also, caliber. I mean, um, that's one of the things everybody talks about is 9mm better than 45. And that, 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 can, that, that topic can be discussed till we're blue in the face. Everybody's got their preferences. You know, 9mm is fine if you're using a, a hollow point such as this. Um, this is actually not even that great of one. This is still just a 115 grain hollow point. Um, it's not even, uh, you know, usually I step it up and go to a, a higher grain and, uh, a plus P load and it'll do a little bit uh, more stopping power, but that's again, preferences. And there's tons of videos on that out there that you can check into. But, um, th th so so these things affect how you're going to carry, what you're going to carry, and where you're going to carry. Now, 
all of a sudden, this man, uh, he, he, he just chose that the, uh, Springfield fit well in his hand, and he was very happy with it. Um, he did not prefer the Glocks. It was uh, too thick for his hand. He wasn't comfortable with the grip, which is fine. Uh, I love the Glocks. i got a big hand, and uh, I like the width of the grip. Uh, the Springfields actually feel small in my hand, but for him, you know, he was more comfortable with that, and that's awesome. I mean, every, there's so many different choices out there. It's unbelievable. So, but how would he have known that if he would had not bought, walked into the store and tried and went through, you know, five, six, seven, eight different guns just to see what was the good size for him? Now, is this going to affect how he carries a gun? Well, yeah, it is, because now he was looking at a very small gun, he was looking at a very small size, and it was very easy, easily concealable. Now he's going to have to change either the way he dresses, or change how he holsters it, or change something else now, because now he's picking up a gun with a, a bigger, a bigger um, grip, which is going to extend out more. So that's another thought he's going to have to do. So this is just a quick synopsis. Um, we're going to go into more details on uh, gun choices later, ammo choices later, um, different things. But for new concealed carry owners, really, the, the thing, the point I'm trying to get here is don't rely on looking at a newspaper. Don't rely on on looking at the best price or the best ad because if you, until you actually go and physically handle the gun, see how it feels, see if you're comfortable with the grip, the the length, the width, how it weighs in your hand, and if you're comfortable, that's that's only the first part of it. Um, again, shooting it. Um, if you're a small woman and you decide to go with a revolver that's a double action revolver, you may not be able to pull the trigger very well. It may be a very difficult trigger pull because the trigger poundage in a double action uh, revolver may be, you know, 10, 12 pounds. It may be very hard for you to pull depending on the caliber or size and things like that. So there's another thing to think about just before you even go buy a gun. So don't rely on uh, newspapers and um, advertisements to select your weapon will go more into trigger pulls and um, revolvers versus uh, <coughs> semi-automatics in another video but the, the what the point is here is if you're a new concealed carry owner and you're getting ready to go buy a gun don't just say hey I've got 500 bucks this LC9 looks great I'm gonna buy it or this revolver looks great <coughs> that's what I'm gonna get It'll probably not work out for you, and you'll spend more money in the long run either rebuying a gun, retrading a gun, because <clears throat> remember with all these things, whatever gun you buy, odds are you're going to have to buy holsters for it, you're going to have to buy the ammo for it, you're going to have to buy many other things to help support <coughs> your carry system. <clears throat> and that's another thing we'll talk about later. So, this is Templing. This is a few thoughts on this idea. Uh, we'll get back to you more details. We'll pick one of the topics and expand upon it uh, later this week. Thanks and have a good day.